Hello everybody and welcome. Today is the 16th of July. My name is Simon Leach and I am talking to you here from Lower Down Pottery, Bovey Tracy, Devon, England. Um, today we have the, the good fortune of being able to see my brother Jeremy on the wheel. So let's go right over there behind the camera now and check out what he's up to. Hello there. Good morning. How are you today? Oh, we're fine today. Yes, it's a sunny day here in Devon, England. Yeah, we're busy making best use of the hot sun by being out of it. <laughs> I wouldn't, wouldn't describe it as being particularly hot, but <laughs> let's just take a little detail here of the working mechanism of the leech wheel. Now you've heard me talk about this many times and lots of people ask me for plans. One, a couple of things I'd just like to mention. Some people have sent me photographs of their plans. I'm just going to make a couple of observations here. Now look, you see the, the chain, it's hung high here. Alright, right the way down there to the to the treadle. Now some people I've seen in their in their their wheels that they've made, they've hung it down here off of this level here. So it's a very short chain so it's it's scribing a very um, different kind of arc. You need it from up high. Alright? That is one thing. And another thing that's important is the location here of this this knuckle elbow end here. It needs to be here on the front, not on this side here, not on that side, but there. I'm not saying it won't work there, but it works better there. And that's where the, it's, it, it is in the plan, so try and follow the plan if you are going to make it. Um, so, anyway, this is an old wheel. It's been going here for donkey's years, hasn't it, Jerem? Yes, oh, it must be 50 years, nearly, I think. Yeah, I think it is. I don't know when it came, actually. It the wheel, the wheel must have been probably getting on for new if it was 50 years ago. Let's just go in there for a little detail on what Jeremy's doing here. And as you can see, he's turning out the, the inside of the foot, the foot ring. And is that is, is the clay a little on the soft side, Jeremy, or is it about right? Well, it depends whether you want a rugged effect or whether you want a... The softer, the softer it is, the more rugged looking, the more sort of yeah. toothy. Yeah, it's that, a bit of a... You see there, just do that, just go over that motion again, what you just did there, because that's something I want to... Sh you see Jeremy's using his God-given tools back of his fingernail just to smooth the it's supposed around to be the edge of the three sides to the foot ring actually yeah cuts uh, 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 the corners the broken off on each side that's, right. that's it now you saw how he just loosened it there just giving it a, a firm push off with the heel of his hand That's ready for fluting. Right, now let's just see how Jeremy does this. You see me do it. Let's see how he does it. So he's wetting, damping the wheel head, dampening the, r the rim of the pot. That's right. And now what's he going to do? Oh dear. I so many people commenting about this tap centering. Uh, technique for, for uh, getting the pot into the centre, Jeremy. Have you got any comment to make about tap centering? Well, some people do it with the left hand coming towards, so that the tap comes towards you. It's all a question of being in conjunction with the wheel that's going round and seeing the swell of the pot in one place, whether you hit it that side or that side. Yeah. And um, it's just a matter of experience and experience and experience. You can place it in by using the ring. 
here. Do you how how would you describe tap centering as a means of getting a pot into the centre? Very good. For, very good. Yeah. What? Why would you say it's well, good? You, well, once you know how to do it, it's quite easy. And what what word of encouragement can we give to all those people out there? Who's saying, oh, I can't do this tap centering, it's it's beyond me, I can't do it. What well, would you say? I, to I, I would keep practicing? Keep practicing? Yeah, keep practicing, but also <laughs> do it by eye, you know. See if the thing's in, in if, the, if, the, if the lump's coming round, then stop yeah. the wheel, push it in. But you've got, you want to have the liquid on the wheel and on the pot exactly right, so that it's holding the pot when you tap it to a certain extent. And when you finally do it, press it down like that. When you say the liquid, what do you mean? Well, it's a little bit of water on the lip to stick it to the wheel head. Yeah. You see, you want to have not too much as to swim about. No, that's right. But it wants to be enough to stick it. Yeah, that's right. This is just trying to get the curve right. It's an old sun curve, this. Most of the turning really doesn't want to be like a machine. The trouble is that we invariably go on until we machine it, as it were, but uh, if, it's, if it's done as directly as possible. Now what's that tool you're using there? So you're using that's some a, sort of... That's a bit of plastic. A bit of plastic. An old banker's card, no? Yeah, that's right. All right, folks, there you are. An old banker's card. Useful, useful tool sometimes for, for finishing off. Good. All right, well, we'll cut this short, this clip now. Oh, we'll just go in there on a little bit of detail there. I like to show people how you do things, Jerem, because, and how other people do them as well, because we all do things a bit different, but. Well, generally you swallow with your throat <laughs> and you bite with your teeth. <laughs> yeah. The best way is the way. You see what I mean? The best way is the way that works for you? Well, yes, I suppose so. Good. Okay. Thanks, Jeremy, for that. Okay. We'll say goodbye to Jeremy. And, um, as they say, have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day. Yeah. Let's, we'll, we'll do that. Okay. Bye now.